Hello and welcome to the very first video presentation of the Openhorn MIDI system, which is this guy here. The uh, Openhorn MIDI system, or OHMS for short, is an electronic wind instrument with a bunch of cool features, which I can just briefly mention a few here, like the uh, breath pressure sensor, which is made from a force sensitive resistor and water balloon, or this awesome bend sensor here, which gives you a pitch bend control with your mouth, um, or these. Uh, Resistive touch switches here that are used as keys, very simple construction. Or of course this awesome LCD here at the back which is used to navigate the menu system. So, so that's just a few things, there's more and I'll get into this at great length um, further down the road. But today I'd like to play some music for you guys, you can see that this thing works. And instead of humiliating myself by trying to play some crazy up-tempo jazz, um, until I'm at least ready to it with this instrument here, uh, I've decided to play a little ditty for you that uh, I've, I've made up myself while I was working on the intervals playing mode on the ohms, which basically allows me to play two notes at the same time, one with my left hand and one with my right. So uh, that's a bunch of fun, even though uh, it does make my brain hurt a little bit. So um, let's get on with it. First we'll have a little look at the menu system on the back here to make sure that everything is set up correctly. Um, so first of all, this is what happens when you plug in the open horn meter system. It loads the uh, last saved user settings and you're ready to play. So if we go into the menu, just by clicking on the rotary encoder here, we can see that we have the main menu, the bend item, uh, playing mode, we have the breath sensor, um, the instrument settings, and we can exit. So uh, in the breath menu, for example, we have a range value, which is 0 to 127. We have a buffer value, which is the dead space at the beginning of the breath sensor values. So 0 to 10 gives no result, and then it starts counting from 10. In this case, I can adjust this uh, up to 50 right now is the maximum, but maybe I'll change that. Uh, then there is the calibration, which is totally automatic. You just uh, start calibration, and then you blow in the mouthpiece, and then you end the calibration. And the new minimum and maximum value for the breath sensor will now be what you just put in. Um, so that's awesome. In the bend menu, you have a. Let's just exit here. In the bend menu, you have similar items. And then uh, in the instrument menu, you have the option to so pick instrument, transpose, and save those settings. So everything that you adjust uh, in the menu, you can save in the EEPROM, EEP ROM, and that will. Um, Save it for you for the next time you turn on the instrument, so it goes past the reset or the power off, which is awesome. Um, okay, so we're not going to save the settings right now. Uh, we can transpose the instruments right now. Um, it's set to the factory default, which is really silly. I'll have to change that. Uh, to do a tenor saxophone, I would transpose it two semitones down, which gives me the key of B flat. Um, we can pick the instrument right now. It should be at zero, which is fine with me. Um, and then uh, I s kind of skipped across the playing mode uh, menu, which is actually for me right now the most exciting one. With the normal playing mode, where all the keys are just used like the fingerings on saxophone, and then uh, we have the uh, sustain mode is not uh, implemented yet, and then there's the intervals mode. The interval mode it plays two notes at the same time, with a uh, with a split octave, so that you play one note in the right hand and another note in the left hand. You use four fingers to uh, to uh, press down a binary code which then gives you 16 notes in uh, in each hand. So uh, so that's pretty awesome and that works fine already. And you can program here you can uh, start you can set a uh, default octave distance. So you can actually it doesn't have to be an octave you can use like six semitones between notes which would be a real mental breakdown I think for myself at least. So there's that, I prefer to put this at 12 and we'll have a nice octave to start out with. I just click that and that's confirmed. Awesome, so uh, let's exit and play some music.
and that's all for this short presentation. If uh, you want to keep up with the uh, news about the uh, Open Horn MIDI system, go to the Continuum Lab uh, blog at uh, blogspot.com and uh, that is where news will be posted as I uh, progress. So uh, until then, see you in the Continuum.